In my last trail building video, we built this step up jump. A jump where the landing is higher than the takeoff. This was made possible due to the shark fin we built before it. Named Huck Fin, it preserves the speed from the hill before it, allowing for more than enough speed to send the step up. After the step up, we left the Badlands and entered the jungle, a zone dense with foliage. In here, I built three berms so I could preserve that speed from the step up jump. All this effort was for good reason. My plan is to build another jump deep in the forest here and jumps require speed. So right here will be the lip, these two flags, and then up here will be the landing where it kind of goes downhill again. And you see that tree over there? I'm not sure what side of the tree I'm going on yet, but uh, maybe the, the answer will start to uh, show itself once I start digging the lip. Since the terrain here naturally goes downhill and then uphill, this will help when building the jump. All I'll have to do is create a bench cut across the slope of the terrain, and the jump will start to appear on the uphill section with little extra work. And there's a good reason for working backwards. Since the location of the lip is determined by the terrain, its position is set in stone. With the lip immovable, I could dig the trail leading into it in the exact right spot. As I worked backwards up the trail, there was a fallen log in the way that some of you may recognize. And this log is actually the same log as the log from the Can't See the Landing drop, which is right there. But I don't want to just start chopping it in half. It's potential that some of this wood is actually still good. And I just don't want to buck it up into the one foot sections or whatever. So I'm going to try and keep it as one big piece, but cut it lengthwise. And then hopefully I can save a, a good piece or two. The log ended up being in pretty poor condition, but there were a few pieces that I could use as bracing in future projects. The next day, back on the trail, I was convinced I was building a step up instead of a tabletop jump. So it's very rough right now, but this is uh, what I want to be the step up. And then I realized that over here, there could be a step down. And uh, I think that would be really cool. So you kind of hit this step down, you get this like G out down here, and then you hit the step up. But before I start on that step down, I needed to finish the trail below it, which would become the landing. With the landing pretty polished up, the lip would get the same treatment. So now that I have the landing for the step down more or less finished, I want to put in the jump. That's got to be over here somewhere. Somewhere around here. A little rough in here, so I'm going to have to clear this out, make it nice. And uh, I'll have to cut that tree at some point but I want to cut it just the right height so it makes it interesting. So with that, I got to work on the lip for the step down. The lip for the step down needs to be rollable for those that don't want to send it. So instead of digging a grave behind it, I use the dirt in front of it to create a pumpable low spot. Now that big stump between the landing and the lip was a little problematic. I needed to trim it down, but in order to keep the feature interesting, I didn't want to cut it too short. With the lip and the landing of the step down complete, it was time to see if I could clear that stump by jumping just to the right of it. Okay, I think I kind of cleared it. I did not clear it. So as you can see from the video, I did not clear that stump at all. So, uh, time to cut it. So here's what I'm thinking. I'll cut it pretty close to the ground here, but then I'll cut it level across. So then that side has still a bit of a, a case. So you still case it, but it's not gonna be dangerous. 
but uh, right now, even though the trail's running slow, I think you're really gonna have to be like Matt Jones or something and be able to pop the hell out of this thing to be able to clear it. And that's not really what I want. I want a lot of people to be able to do this, uh, not just people like Matt Jones, so. With the stump shortened even more, it was time to try again. <laughs> okay, it's working great now. I may have now cut it too short, making it a little less spicy. But at its current height, it should save a few wheels from destruction. Sweet. <laughs> fun. Well, it's time to build the landing for the lip behind me. So, as we go up the lip, I'm gonna jump this, and then I think the landing will be right about here. But, uh, yeah, time to start clearing. But now that I had the landing roughed in, I still hadn't made a decision about which side of the tree to go on. So I've been trying to decide which side of this tree to dig the trail around. And I think I've made a decision, but I'm still not sure. So as you come over the jump and you land in the landing here, you could either go right or I can go left of the tree and just make a big berm that'll work with the terrain as it is. But it could be tricky. Well, I can't decide which way to go, so I'm gonna go get my bike and test it out and see which way feels better. Hmm. I think we have to go straight. I'll try it one more time, but if I'm casing there, still went really fast there. The left turn is just gonna come too fast. Yeah, we have to go straight. So, with the decision made, I extended the trail to the right of the tree and came back the next day to sort out the rest of the trail. So, we gotta figure something out here. Basically, we need a big turn here, and I think it's just gonna be a big, end up being a big berm. So we need to get down to that berm I made a long time ago for the Kansas City Landing Drop, which is over there. So yeah, I'm gonna flag out a berm here and get to digging. We got the berm done and it looks pretty nice actually. It uh, definitely tightens up but I think that's okay. Uh, and then we got to build the very last berm which is this one right here and then you connect to the can't see the lining drop which is just over there. So let's get to work. <laughs> of the last berm, the line through the jungle is now complete. It was finally time to test out my new creation. <laughs> I went pretty far on the landing. When I originally built the Cant Cedar Landing Drop, I hadn't built proper trail going into it. I just made an educated guess as to where the landing should be. But now that I do have a proper trail leading into it, the landing is actually too short, by a lot. The speed from this new line is faster than I expected. So to fix the drop, 
I moved the lining out and extended it. With the lining adjusted, the line through the jungle is complete, for real this time. After this build, the trail now has 10 jumps on it. The first is the small tabletop in the grove, then the step down after the you can do it drop. In the badlands there's the stump jump, the double soon after it, then the not too slabby rock jump, and soon after the berm another jump. Then there's the jump onto Bob's bobsled, The step up after Huck Finn, and the new step down and tabletop we just built are numbers 9 and 10. So, if you like jumping, this trail is for you. But, as always, thanks for watching and stay gnarly.